Welcome. Stevie here with a new device from Heaps of Bleeps. This new device is called Repitch. It's very similar to Ableton's pitch device. You know, the device that just transposes the pitch of your MIDI. But this one's a little bit different because it re-triggers the notes that you're holding at the new pitch when you turn it. So, uh, yeah, like the way Ableton's works is it basically waits till the next note for the pitch to be actually changed, which... I mean, you know, makes sense for a standard device, but this one allows you to just like hold out uh, chords and stuff and then uh, transpose them in kind of like arpeggiator like ways. Basically, I want to be able to hold MIDI out, then modulate the pitch of the MIDI that I'm holding. So, yeah, basically, if I hold a note here on this first one, um, when I turn this, it changes the pitch of the note. So you could hold a chord. It'll transpose it um, while it's being held. And, you know, that can be kind of chaotic if you're just doing it chromatically. But um, as you heard at the beginning, you can do kind of more cool stuff. So here I have two different instances of this patch to show you two different examples of how you can modulate this device. Um, in uh, this first version, I'm using two devices from my Ben series. You may be familiar with them. Basically, I'm using the Ben Keys device, which changes your MIDI notes into pitch bend. And then I'm putting that into the Ben Map device, which allows you to then map that pitch bend information to whatever you want. So uh, I have it mapped to this repitch here. So whatever MIDI I put in here is going to modulate the pitch of the MIDI that I play. So yeah, when I play this, it's going to be doing it kind of, you know, it's going to be doing an arpeggiator kind of thing. Sorry about that one, whatever. So yeah, that's how I was doing that thing at the beginning that you heard. Yeah, you could put any MIDI in here you want. You know, it works like CV in this way. So now for this second instance of this device, here I have an LFO map to it. And here I'm going to go more into the quantizer and uh, th these other elements of the device. So basically, I have an LFO mapped. First, I'll, I'll take this off just to make it more simple. I have a LFO map to it here. And that's going to sound like this. As you can imagine, not necessarily what you want. Um, it's a lot of notes going. I mean, it could be cool for some like wild sound design or something, but for the most part, probably not what you want. So here I have a quantizer that'll quantize it to the beat. Here I have it set to 16th notes. So now when I play it. So yeah, again, you know, that's still parallel transposition. You might want that, but here I have something to kind of make it a little bit more in key and also to me more interesting. I have here like the scale device. If you look at the scale I set, it's kind of like almost more of a sequence than a scale. Um, it's kind of has jumps in it. So that means as it's transposing up and down the uh, scale, it's going to uh, play through the sequence instead of just transposing in parallel like you heard before. So here, this is what this sounds like. So yeah, you get the, uh, the idea that, I mean, it's kind of just makes it more of a sequence, you know, if you were to change this, you could... And yeah, you know, if you take up the quantize. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over the speed limb part of this. If you don't want it to be quantized, but you don't want it to be quite this fast, you can just use the speed limiter, which is gonna make it go a little slower. Um, you can use these both at the same time to make like different kinds of rhythms and stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna go into that too much. 
Um, so yeah, that's a basic overview. Oh, I guess this bottom is just, you know, the range. Since you're transposing notes, you might not want notes that are too low. I mean, it's just like the pitch effect in Ableton. You know, notes below this will be filtered out. Notes above this will be filtered out. All the devices featured here are available on my website. That's heapsofleapsaudio.com. There's a link in the description. This new repitch device is uh, free as of now. The Ben devices come in my Ben series pack, which you can get on there. Everything's on sale right now. $1 off all my devices, $3 off all my packs. This sale is going to last for one week from the release date of this device and this video. Thanks for sticking through the tutorial. I think I'm going to make another Max tutorial where I go over the inside of this device. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. If I have made it, I'll link it as well. Goodbye.